we're going to be talking about comp systems and a little bit of the pros and cons of having one, or at least playing one while you're while you're riding. Now, the pros might seem pretty obvious. That's why you that's why you want to get it in the first place. Is that you have the opportunity to to talk to other riders that you're around or with. Uh, you can listen to music. You can make phone calls. Help. You can even make photo videos like this one. Those are all great reasons to have a comp system. But I want to dive a little bit deeper into to some of those. Now, when it comes to communications with other riders, sometimes this can just be for fun, but sometimes it can be really, really important. Um, I know that for myself, especially when I'm on longer rides, like the summer trips that we take each year, inevitably sometime during the day, sometimes after the lunch, I start getting a little fatigued, a little tired. Uh, music isn't going to do it. I'm trying to keep my mind active, drinking, you know, water or soda or whatever doesn't do it. But what does do it is calling somebody and, and talking to the other riders. And sometimes that's a conversation about, you know, the ride that we're taking or something off subject completely. But having that interaction going on inside my head keeps me awake and alert in ways that almost nothing else on the bike without the comp system does. So that's one time where it can be really great for you. Uh, the other is being able to talk about what's going on with the ride. So if I'm leading and like, let's say I'm in Lockhart Basin and I come up over a hill and see that there's an obstacle in the way that, that I barely dodged or that I need to take a hard right turn that I didn't expect or something like that, I can relay that information back to the riders behind me by that, that comp system. So rather than trying to take a hand off the handlebars to point to a big rock or something like that, I can just say, hey, big rock to your left. And, and pass that information back without having to do anything visually or, or messing around mechanically on the bike, which I think is a huge asset and something that we've utilized a lot on our trips. I imagine it's probably the first reason why a lot of people get calm is to be able to, to send the information back and forward as you're riding. Uh, and that's a, that's a huge one. That's, that's massive for anybody who's going to be riding. Uh, as far as music, I love having music on. Sometimes it heightens the experience. Sometimes it just helps me get through a long day. It's getting kind of dull or whatever. You could you put on some of your favorite tunes. But at other times, where you're looking at amazing vistas as you're coming through uh, South Dakota or into Wyoming or, or Colorado, having just the right song ready to go can really help out and make that experience something that sticks in your head just a little bit more, which ultimately is kind of the reason we're riding these bikes in the first place is for the experience. And if you can have uh, an auditory cue as well as a visual cue and maybe even, you know, smells that you're taking in at that time, if you can capture that moment more completely, uh, it just makes that memory uh, stickier, something that will that will be with you a lot longer. And that that is awesome. Everything else that you get from the comp system, uh, sometimes direction, I think are really awesome to have through the comp system so I don't have to look down at the map she can just pipe into my ear and tell me, hey, you got a right turn coming up in two miles. That's great, too. That helps out a lot. Uh, anything to keep you more engaged with your actual ride is a, is a benefit. And, and the comp system can definitely do that. Now, on the flip side of that, some of the cons is that it actually can distract quite a bit. And, and that's, that, that works in a couple of different ways. Like, obviously, the first distraction is from your ride itself and, and being safe out on the road. And if you're making a moto video and not paying attention to the driver in front of you or what's coming on either side, that can be a problem. And it kind of depends on how your mind prioritizes things. If your priority is the things that you're saying or the visuals that you're trying to, trying to do, as opposed to the safety of your ride, then you probably shouldn't be doing it. Um, and I know there will be a lot of people out there that say that you can't really make that priority. Is if you're distracted in any way, you're distracted in all ways. I get it. I get it. It is a, it is a determination. It is a risk assessment that we're making here. Um, I know a lot of people don't like that I make videos uh, while I'm riding because of that distraction element, and I, I appreciate that. I mean, they're obviously looking out for my safety. Obviously, I'm not listening because I'm still doing it, but, but I appreciate it nonetheless. But that is something you need to watch out for. You need to watch out for that distraction element. And the second part of that distraction element, which is not necessarily vitally important, but could matter, 
is that if you're talking on the phone or you're talking to another writer or you're listening to music, you're not taking in everything that you're going through. And again, if, if we're doing this for an experience, you might be missing some elements of that. And maybe it's that you're not hearing the things that are occurring out there outside of the, the whir of your engine or, or the other things that are going on. And, and that can be something that, that might limit your enjoyment of that activity. So it is definitely something to consider that you may be losing some stuff from your trip by talking on the phone or listening to music or any of those other things too. So just be aware of what type of experience you're looking for and what the comm system can and can't do in that aspect. Another one of the downsides is that if you ride with comms a lot, you'll find that riding without them starts to feel rather lonely and kind of isolated. Um, which is really a driving force for some people, but can be a little unnerving for others. And I know I've had times where I've ridden too much with it and then gone away and just been like, oh man, I wish I had my comms. Or like, I forget it. And recognizing that I'm disappointed that I don't have them is a great reason for me to not ride with them for a while. To get used to them being sort of a luxury, not not a necessity. And And that happens all the time. So... Going back and forth on that, I think, is also a benefit in just kind of recognizing that it's not something you need to have. Uh, it's nice sometimes, but it's, it's certainly not a necessity. And it certainly should be a, a major point of your ride. And, and if it does get to that point, maybe it's time to, to put the comp system down, put them away for a little bit. But the benefits that it offers you when those times come uh, can be numerous. And I would argue that there are all sorts of different comp systems out there. Obviously, uh, Cena and, and Cardo are your two big ones, but there are tons of them out there. And if you can't afford one of the big ones, get one of the little ones. See what you think. See if you like it. See if you like having music in your head. Some people can't stand it. Some people absolutely absolutely live for it. So find out what works best for you and then, and then go that route. But ultimately, do you understand that like anything else, there are pros and cons to having it on there. And use it when it works well for you. Don't use it when it doesn't. And and understand how that affects your ride both ways. Uh, this is Chad with Be Gone for Good. Thank you very much for listening. If you have any other tips or tricks about the comm system, definitely leave a comment. People love reading the comments to find out more than just my opinion on this stuff. You guys are a great resource for everybody that watches this channel. So thank you very much. And uh, I look forward to seeing you in the next one.